Michaela Vaughn taking the tip. Absolutely. That's huge for the Irish to have her back on the court, back with a presence that she gives to her team. Here's Lotamai Lawton, and coming off a 27-point performance against Boston College. Now Sarah Bates for three, and she knocks it down. Here's Lorella Kubai facing a double team. Went for Adenas, and a whistle and a foul. Creating a lot of pressure, looking for turnovers, and easy transition baskets. Gilbert for Vaughn. She lays it off the glass and in. Wow, that was an absolutely great pass. Or they've staying in their matchup zone. Ron Adenas for Lantanen. Nice baseline jumper for Lorella Kubai. Absolutely, I just love the way they're moving the basketball against Notre Dame zone. Walker driving, kind of a wild shot, Whoa. but she gets it to go. As a basketball player, and that's something that a lot of people forget about. Here's Bates, can she hit another one? Yes! A great skip pass again. Skipping the ball right here. That's that's what you know coaches talk about so much. We've seen the switch though. Uh, they hit those shots early, but not as much here this in this uh, easy going the next three or four minutes. 15 and a half points a game. That also ranks eighth in the country among freshmen. Gilbert knocks it down. Great out of bounds play. Great set. Great wrinkle. I think they got it right. But you know, if uh, if I'm an official, I'm thinking about boy, coach. I wish you would have had a mask on when you coach. <laughs> Nerea Hermosis. Great out of bounds play. Executed well. Got a great bucket. And Gilbert with a great bucket of her own on the other end. This is all they know in college basketball is having to deal with these protocols and having to isolate socially. Isn't that amazing what you have to do? There's a great transition situation, you know, try to, you know, push the ball up the floor, especially in transition. And great shooters find that three-point line, and there's just a great example uh, in Indianapolis. And so they have the same philosophy. Here's Mabry from the outside. Yes, another three for Dara Mabry. Tune again, right back to her, out of bounds play. We call that America's play, out of bounds play. It's nearly a five minute scoring drought for Georgia Tech. The Yellow Jackets got off to a hot start, but this one rolls home for Lorella Kubai. Love, mid range jumper doesn't go. Offensive rebound, Lottinen. And she lost the basketball. Here comes the freshman, Alasia Hayes. Hayes all the way to the hoop and gets it to go. Wow, what a great take. Leave that <laughs> state in women's basketball. Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, no one usually gets out of there without uh, being a Tennessee foul. As Bates knocks down the three. Now down to four. Prohaska finds Vaughn. What great, a feed. Great pass. Perfect place. Lawton and hesitated there, was thinking about the three. Instead, it'll be Bates, and she does it again. Wow. Sarah Bates is coming out, firing for the Yellow Jackets. Great find. Gilbert looking to respond. She does it. Lawton and can she hit from the outside? Rattles it home. Five of ten from beyond the arc. Vaughn finds Brunel, nice little fake off the glass and in. That's a great take, and again. So that hot shooting is really carried over. Prohaska. Great movement. Around the arc, Brunel knocks down the three. Now Love drives baseline into some traffic, and here comes Anaya Peoples the other way. Mabry pulls up for three, oh and my. it hits. Oh my. The outside shooters of their own, they're six of 12 from beyond the arc so far today. This time they'll go inside to Kubai for the easy two. Again, that gives a, another example of how important depth is in the Notre Dame front line when you lose somebody and still have. If a player's going to take a charge, they got to sell the charge to the official. Oh, Lawton in the crossover and the smooth jumper to tie it up. Dame has really kind of struggled figuring out what to do. And Mabry has blocked a shot clock violation in this Georgia Tech bench. They yeah. are fired up. Lawton in. Steps back and hits the jumper. What an end to this first half for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. They end it on an 8-0 run. I mentioned they closed out the first half on an 8-0 run. Here's Love, free throw line jumper, nothing but net. Oh, 
Lottinen with a nice cut. The high runner goes. Top of the key, three, and Lottinen hits it. Wow, wow, wow. They're averaging six three-pointers per game. They've already made seven today. That includes three from Lottinen. Notre Dame looking to respond with Westbell, and she knocks it down. Wow. Addie Westbell, she came in averaging over 17 a game. Long two from Kubai, and she nails it. Freshmen are going to have those games way before she even catches the ball to get a position where she can score. And she's coming off that career high 27, kept it rolling today. Now Brunel off the window and in. Great catch. Feed down for Westbelt, and Prohaska is there underneath the basket. It's been great to see Prohaska back out on yes. the floor after she missed last season. Lawton in another three. Low to my Lawton in with 19. Seen that with teams on the free throw line, the three point line. They just get in a, a field that can't make anything. Here's Mabry, nice laying off the glass. Outside for Love, her three is also good. It's contagious. Those things, uh, this is her first game back. I'm sure that uh, they've looked at that. They felt she was conf confident to get out there and play. And for the relentless offensive rebound, the relentless play. They go once again for Hermosa. And Brunel went down, leading to an easy two. Georgia Tech's really talking to their players about getting back in transition. And Notre Dame finally makes their first field goal in just yeah. about four minutes. Westbelt now with nine. Notre Dame will need her to continue to play well if they want to come back in this fourth quarter. But what a feed right there for Aviance Carter for some time until Coach Fortner will feel comfortable playing her with those four fouls. Offensive rebound off the missed free throw, and Anaya Peoples puts it up and in. Huge offensive rebound. Defense by Georgia Tech. Now down to five. Peoples has to put one up and sinks it. Money shot right there. We might circle that possession. Name shot clock was going down, and uh, they needed a bucket there in that possession. McQueen looking for three and knocks it down. Well, we've heard a lot of great things. Her game, and all of a sudden, they're knocking down. It drives coaches nuts when other people step up and hit other shots. Here's Westbelt leaning her way and rattles it home. Watson in for Kubai, backing her way against nice Ball. Move. Duck nice under fade. move. There is a classic duck under move. Dara Mabry with 11 today for Westfeld. Her three is good. Boy, she comes off of that curl cut. I thought Notre Dame was a little bit too much of a hurry there in their transition and turned the ball back over. Kubai, the hook shot, and a beauty. Wow. Just love how she's able to get possession. This point game. Very important possession here for Georgia Tech. And Won Adenas with a nice move and gets it off the glass and in. Same script of her teammates, getting great position, knocking in the shots. And now it's taken away by Lotsonen. Up ahead for Aliyah Love off the window and it rolls in. All the way to the hoop. May have been partially blocked. 10 on the shot clock for Peoples, who rolls it home. Just a great take, a must bucket there, in my, my opinion. 12 rebounds on the afternoon. Now McQueen using her speed off the window and in. Wow, the freshman steps up here. <laughs> he needs to extend their defense here and start putting more pressure on the ball here, trying to create quick shots. Here's McQueen once again, plus the foul. Great defense again by Tech. Here's Westbell off the glass and in. Desperately needed basket. Watson nearly lost it. Put up a jumper. Offensive rebound oh, is wow. there from Lorella Kubai. Wow. Another offensive putback. Those are things you just can't allow when you're down. And now a turnover, the outlet ahead to Love for the easy two, and that just about does it for this one. It's going to be a teachable moment for Notre Dame. You know they're going to respond and come back, but they've dug themselves a big hole here with 49 seconds left. 
And McQueen will dribble out the last seconds. The first win over Notre Dame in program history for Georgia Tech.